Well, hey there, everybody. Thanks for watching the video so far. Uh, I have a little treat for you right here in the middle of the video. You get back to your learning in a second, but I want to share a family uh, secret recipe with you. It's called wacky cake. I'm not sure where the term came from, but it's really simple, easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind the camera, point it down at the counter, and in like a minute, make you a cake, okay? All right, the oven's uh, all warmed up. It's set to 350 degrees. Here's what we need for the cake. A uh, cup and a half of flour. That was easy. Uh, three tablespoons of cocoa. One. Two. And three. Now I read something on the internet that the reason maybe this is called wacky cake is because it was uh, popular during the World War II when they were rationing stuff. And it was wacky that you could actually make a cake without traditional ingredients like uh, butter and eggs and things like that. Uh, baking soda and uh, one teaspoon. Okay, one cup of sugar. And half a teaspoon of salt I already measured in this little bowl here. There we go and to give it a whisk. There we go. And what you do is you sort of uh, bring it together in your mixing bowl and then you put three little holes in here. Okay, so I'm just going to tap uh, three little holes in here. And one hole is going to get some vanilla. It's going to get one uh, table or sorry, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of vanilla. So there's one hole with the uh, with the vanilla. One of the holes is going to get five teaspoons of cooking oil. So we'll just use vegetable oil. And the final secret ingredient is vinegar. Now remember how we put the baking soda in the mix? Baking soda and vinegar from everybody's favorite uh, volcano experiment when you were in elementary school. All right, it's going to fluff up. So what we're going to do is we've got the three holes, got the liquids in there, give it a quick stir, and then we uh, pour one cup of cold water. One cup of cold water, there we go. I feel like Martha Stewart. Didn't she used to have a cooking show with Snoop Dogg? So give it a whisk. You can do this with a fork. And really what you want to do is you want to do it until the uh, flour is all gone. There's no lumps of anything. That was easy. Grab a spatula. Now what you can do with this chocolate cake mix is a couple of different things. If you have a muffin tray, you can put the uh, paper cupcake stuff in and make a batch of wacky cake cupcakes. Or just do like me, pop it into a greased eight by eight pan. There we go. Greased 8x8 eight eight pan. Pop it in the oven. 350 degrees. 30 minutes. And you have delicious wacky cake for dessert. All right. Enjoy the rest of the educational video. Wait, that's it. Ah, oh, there it is. Thing of beauty. The tough part is waiting until it cools down enough that you can uh, that you can cut it up and eat it. But anyways, that's it. Enjoy.